Someone in a Facebook group that I'm in for 3D printing asked if someone could take an STL that they found online and make it 15 millimeters smaller in height without modifying the top dimensions. So we're going to go ahead and do that right now. The first step is went ahead and downloaded the STLs. I'm going to insert them into this as a mesh. I'm going to do this one at a time. because I don't actually know which one of these they want inserted. So there's the first one. We're going to insert the second one. We're going to repeat that process. I'm going to move that one over about uh, 100 millimeters. That should get it out of the way. All right, so we have our two pieces. We gotta decide where we wanna make a cut to make this 15 millimeter shorter without modifying this top geometry right here. So this section right here looks like the, about the easiest to modify. Take a measurement here and a measurement about here. Perfect. We can take a 15 millimeter chunk out of that and no one will ever notice. So go ahead and close this. So the way I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna create a sketch on this plane. There you go. Okay. And I'm just going to come out here and I'm going to make a, a line, a dot right here. And I'm going to change the plane and I'm going to go up the thickness of this base flange because I don't want to lose that base flange. So let's take that measurement real quick. 1.36. We'll say we'll go up 1.5 to be safe. Okay. So now we'll come out here change our plane, come up 1.5 millimeters, and then I'll come over here, change my plane over here, come up 1.5 millimeters. Now I'm going to connect those two upper dots to make a plane that is 1.5 millimeters off the bottom of this. The next step we need to do so that we can cut these, we need to convert these from meshes to solid bodies. So we're gonna flip over to our mesh tab, click on the body we wanna change, go to modify, convert mesh. It's gonna give us a warning that it has more than 10,000 triangles, that's fine. Go ahead and select the second one. We'll go ahead and do them at the same time. Let that run. That's going to take a second to convert this from meshes to bodies. All right. So now we have two bodies instead of two meshes that we can manipulate. Next up, I'm going to come back over to my solid tab. I'm going to extrude this up 15 millimeters using the cut function. And it'll take a 15 millimeter gap out of that body. And since this is converted from a mesh and it's a ton of triangles, the computation times are a little bit longer, but nothing crazy. So now I'm going to right click this piece right here. I'm going to click move copy and I'm going to change it from faces to bodies. So now I'm going to move this up 15, hit enter. I'm going to do the same one for this, change from faces to bodies this up 5 10 15 close that gap now these are still two separate bodies and need to join them together so I'll go to my modify tab hit combine click the top and the bottom body click OK do the same thing for this one combine combine and there you have it two 15 millimeter shorter bodies that were just an STL downloaded off the internet, so I, it's not something that I could go back in the timeline and change the geometries super easily, but I was able to quickly take 15 millimeters out of a section that wouldn't affect the bottom geometry or the top geometry, meeting the needs for the person who requested it. Hope that helps. Thank you.